How's it going everyone, it's BrevOS here and welcome to the channel and in this video we'll be showing you how to add an image to alert controller. Simply put, we are going to simulate the airdrop alert controller. So at the end your application will have the alert controller pop up with an image inside it and you can have two action, accept and decline, but these are just dummies so you can choose either one of them. And that's it, well let's start. Xcode, create new project, single view application. I'm just gonna name it alert with image. Next, create. And now we are going to do the SS setup first. So I suggest you should pause the video and go download the link I prepared for you guys under the description below. All right, so once you've got the folder downloaded, you will see there's one folder, which is the SS setup. Go over and open it. And you will have four files. First is the extension, so I would like you to just right click on the alert with image folder, new group, and then we're going to name it extensions. And you can drag the image with resize.swift into this folder and copy them. And then there are three images to be tested. So you go over to assets and then you can drag these three inside it. And that's it. We're done with the preparation for the assets. Now let's go over to the main storyboard here. And then we're going to add just one simple button here. I'm going to change the label to alert air drop. And then let's create an action connection. So go over to the assistant editor, control and drag to the view controller file and connection action. And I'm just going to name it alert air drop action. Connect and then just close the assistant editor, go to view controller. And now, when the button is clicked, the alert airdrop action will activate it. So, we are going to create an alert controller inside this function. So, let alert controller equal to alert controller with title airdrop, right? And then message. brief os iphone would like to share photo and the last parameter is the preferred style which is alert and now we're just going to add the accept and decline action so alert controller dot add action and then ui alert action with title decline style dot cancel with no handler and I'm just gonna copy this line and paste it right here change this one to accept and style is the default and now let's present the alert controller so self dot present alert controller animated true completion no. and now let's run our application to see how it's going okay here we go now we have our alert controller next we're just gonna add an image so just gonna add one more so I'm gonna create an image so image equal to UI image with named which is the name test image one all right, and then we're gonna say alert controller dot add image image this image. All right, so you can see there will be an error. Is that because the class UI alert controller doesn't contain a function called add image? So now we are going to implement one by ourselves. So let's go over to the extensions folder here. We're gonna right click on it. Then we're gonna create a new file which is the Swift file, click next, create. And now here we go. We're going to change the import foundation to import UI kit. And now we're going to create our own extension. And then it's an extension of UI alert controller here. Oh, let me change the file name first. So I'm just going to call this one alert controller with image. 
So now we are going to create function called add image. So function add image. We're going to take image as our parameter here. And just for this one, I believe the error will be gone from here. Now add image exits, right? So just let's implement this one more to see how image is added. So simply I'm just going to say image action UI alert action. There will be no title because we're just going to add this one as the image and style. It doesn't really matter. Just going to say default and then there will be no handler. And then image action is enable equal to false. We're going to set this one to false because we don't want users to be able to click on our image, right? And then image action dot set value. We're going to pass through the image we got from the our parameter here. And then the key is the image. And then we're going to add self dot add action. We're going to pass in image action. So basically what we're doing here is that we set the value for key image and then we pass in the UI image in and that's it. The image is loaded. So let's see how it goes. All right. Here we go. We have pretty much blank image, but it's actually loaded. What we miss here is just one function. So with rendering mode always original. And that's it. Let's run this one again. All right. And here we go. We have a glimpse of our image and uh, and the full version of this photo is actually like this. So next we have to resize to make the expect ratio according to the maximum width and height of our alert controller. So, well, let's do it. Let's go back to alert controller plus image here. And then I'm just going to set the maximum size of alert controller. So max size will be equal to CG size and with the width of 245 and height of 300. And I'm just going to create a one variable for holding the size of the image. And then let's create a variable called ratio is the CG float. And we're going to do the case one where the width of image is actually larger than the height. So the ratio will depend on the width. So if image size dot width is actually more than image size dot height, then we're going to set the ratio equal to max size dot width divided by image size dot width. So now we're going to have the ratio where the width is more than height. And then another case is that reversely height is more than the width. So the ratio will depend on height. And now we've got our ratio. Next thing we're going to do is just we're going to set our image to this new size. So I'm going to create one variable. So this one is the scaled size will be equal to CG size with width will be equal to image size dot width will be multiplied by ratio as well as the height. So height will be equal to image size dot height multiply with ratio. And now we are going to create a new image. So this one is the resize image equal to the image dot image with size and now we're going to pass in the size so this one scaled size perfect and let's change the image to resize image i forgot to mention image resize here is actually this function in our extension before so actually it's just going to take a size which is gc size and then gonna return the new image which is the scaled one so you can have a look on your own and now we're just going to continue to the other controller with image here so I'm just going to run and see the result. And here we go. As you can see here, the picture is perfectly fit to the alert controller. So that's it. Let's just try a couple of our example here. I'm just going to go back to view controller and we're going to pass in 
the test image number three. Okay, this one is the portrait one. So the height is actually more than the width. So you will see the result. All right, and there we go. So here we have our problem because we want our image to be centered. So we're just gonna do a little more on the load controller plus image here. So we're saying here if the image size dot height is actually more than image size dot width, and now we have to center the image by setting the left inset so it can be pushed to the right. So I'm just gonna create a variable called left, and now we're gonna have the max size dot width minus the resize image dot size dot width and now we're going to divide it by two so now we have the exact value where to be pushed to the right so i'm just going to say the resize image here will be equal to resize image dot with alignment rect insects we're going to create new h insects so ui h insects make top left button right now we don't have to change the top so leave top zero and now we have to change the left we have to invert the direction so it can shift to the right and then there's no button and then there's no right the last thing we need to change is to change left to var because we make change to our resize image and now let's run to see the result here we go and there you go guys we have the image with height more than width uh, still we have to center them and we did it so let's test a couple more of the image so let's go back to view controller let's try the second image i'm gonna run this one okay and that's it we successfully add an image to our alert controller which you know fits with the height more than width and with more than height and that's it guys thanks for watching to the end of the video and if you find this video helpful please leave a like or subscribe and if you have any question or any suggestion or any request you can just leave them down in the comment section below and everybody just keep coding and we'll see you guys in the next one